Hola chicos y chicas, aquí Arwars Studio trayéndoos el nuevo capítulo de Life is Strange, el capítulo 4, el de Cuarto Oscuro. Eh, en el anterior capítulo, para... bueno, imagino que ya lo habréis jugado, entonces, si no queréis oír esto, taparos los oídos. Y nada, en el anterior capítulo, eh, Chloe... Eh, mediante unas decisiones que tomamos nosotros volvemos al pasado cuando el padre de Kate aún vivía ay de Chloe perdón y y nada intentamos salvarlo para que no muera y, y conseguimos salvarlo eh, pero qué pasa que esa decisión que tomamos eh, implica que Chloe en el futuro esté paralítica por una serie de, bueno una serie no creo que fue un accidente solo un accidente de coche o algo así creo que fue y le dejó un poco mal a la pobre así que así nos deja el anterior capítulo la teoría del caos y nada vamos a, a darle al cuarto oscuro es un poco mal el cuarto oscuro pillines eh, por lo que he oído este capítulo es un poquito más flojito que los otros pero bueno ya veremos vamos a darle cañita ya a ver qué tal. Ya le tenía ganas a este capítulo. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Partido de huevos. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Pues nada. Todo eso ha pasado. Pues vamos a ver qué hacemos para, para ayudar a Chloe, porque imagino que volveremos las cosas como estaban antes de que, yo qué sé, volveremos a que, no sé, que el padre vuelva a morir y que todo vaya igual que antes. Si no, pobre Chloe. Vaya putada. Le hemos hecho a la pobre. Muy bonita la playa, la puesta de sol. Vamos, quiero ver cosas. No sé si, si por el accidente Chloe podrá hablar o no podrá hablar. No sé, se lo veía tan mal a la pobre. Que no sé. A ver cuánto fenómeno más raro, tío. El mundo se va a la mierda ahí. En el juego. Oh, 
cuarto oscuro. Bueno, ahí están. No es un buen sitio para pasear, ¿no? T -t Tanta ballena muerta, ¿no? Creo yo. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Vamos a ver. Hablar del accidente o culpar a William. Claro, es que yo no sé mucho del accidente. Es que yo no sé nada ahora mismo. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Mm-hmm. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Hola pues, a casita.
Vale, aquí se ve que no había decisiones importantes y no, no me ha dejado volver atrás. Así que bueno. Por el momento bien, empieza bien. Eh, estaba claro que, que tenía que haber alguna conversación con Chloe por lo que había pasado y tal. Y bueno, hemos descubierto un poco lo que ha pasado del accidente y ya está. Ya veremos si podemos arreglar todo este embrollo que hemos, que hemos hecho. Ojalá, tío. Ojalá. Hombre, yo imagino que... Que haremos algo. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Pues nada. Ya podemos movernos. Vamos a visitar un poco lo que hay por aquí. Vale, esto es agua, no te voy a dar agua. There's the old Chloe. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Sería divertido, sí. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Bueno, al menos tiene tecnología lo suficientemente buena como para adaptarse a su situación. Chloe's message board since the accident sure. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Lo bueno es que se acuerda de todo de todas las cosas que han cambiado en su vida. Raro, pero no sé, mola. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. No, no más pipas. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hombre, lo único que ha cambiado es Chloe. Ya está, no hay más. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. Vale, mm, creo que ya no me queda más. Sí, esto. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Pues créetelo. Lo hemos hecho intentando ayudarla. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Ventilador médico, tú. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Ah, oh, sí, vamos a dar la agua que la pobre se nos está ahogando. So cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so.
drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Bottom. Really, my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Oh, what kind of película? Nothing but medical supplies. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Well, aquí no hay nada. This year is nosy as ever. I don't want to disappoint you. Joystick por control por boca. A ver. Vale, creo que lo voy a dejar para el siguiente capítulo y así no los hacemos tan largos los capítulos. En el siguiente buscaremos la película, la pondremos y nada, la veremos. Mm, nada, una introducción eh, un poco... A ver, está bien, pero por el momento va lento. Así que ya veremos eh, los siguientes capítulos cómo son, si empieza ya un poco más la acción y no sigue este mismo ritmo. A ver, que me da igual que haya un capítulo más lento mientras esté bien 
Así que nada chicos, espero que os haya gustado la vuelta, el regreso de Life is Strange en el canal. Nada chicos, un placer teneros de vuelta y nada, darle a me gusta, suscribiros si no lo estáis y comentadme cualquier duda que tengáis en la caja de comentarios. Nos vemos en el siguiente capítulo de Life is Strange. Adiós chicos.